that over the course of the 18 months or so that the community of practice has been in existence, there's been an ongoing discussion about principles of engagement and the nature of our identity. And um, that's largely resolved. It's a, it's a, it's a document um, process that we're still going through, as you referred to, of, of, of defining the principles of engagement. But the nature of the community of practice has been agreed on by us as a collective. But one of the questions that kept um, haunting all of us was what exactly is the relationship between this COP and the ECD Alliance? And it's never been quite resolved and never been quite clear. Um, but I'm sure you're all aware that Bertha has been made the new chairperson of the Alliance and she came to um, Bridge last week to discuss this relationship. And really what the two of us wanted to do today was just signal that these two um, bodies would like to work collaboratively together like to engage in compatible and strategically aligned ways. So um, I know Michelle's going to give more information around what's happening for the Alliance, but I just wanted to, from the side of, of Bridge and um, the work that we're doing around this community of practice, talk, uh, tell you about that conversation and say how much I welcome it. I think it's going to really strengthen the work of this community of practice. Michelle, sure. thank you. Um, yeah, just from both side, she does send her apology. She has been delayed at a, a national meeting. I'm hoping to see her a little bit later on her way out of Joburg. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, um, the National ECD Alliance had its triannual general meeting at the end of June um, in Cape Town, and we are very pleased to announce that we have a new board um, in place. Uh, I think the, the general sense in the sector was that the structure had become um, um, Slightly defunct, I suppose is one way of saying it, um, but you know, pe people just felt it wasn't active enough. So there is a new board in place. Uh, I am on the board, I'm one of the board members, I'm the treasurer. Um, so Bertha has asked me just to step in and, and convey um, some of our initial discussions. We've had our first board meeting um, in July, and one of the key things that came out of that is how do we really, um, how do we position the alliance in terms of the, the current space within the ECD sector? And um, one of the, the key things that came out of that as well is, is the sense around collaboration. Um, Alliance largely represents the resource and training organizations um, throughout the country. And there's so many other, I think as um, Sam showed earlier in her presentation, there's so many other structures. How do we collaborate with them? And I think on, on that basis, as Barbara was saying, I think there's very much an openness to see how the Alliance would collaborate with structures such as COP. Um, not in terms of duplicating, but obviously the Alliance would forge its own key areas of focus. And um, what we are planning to do later this month, in about two weeks' time, we're hosting a strategic planning session. And what we've done is we've, uh, we've invited key stakeholders from the sector from around the country to join us in the strategic planning and thinking um, that's happening later in August. So that'll craft a three-year strategic plan for the Alliance. And yeah, as I said, one of the <coughs> key things that will come out of that obviously is how do we collaborate with various other structures. But I know there is an openness to work really um, closely with COP and other structures that are already there. So that's